Welcome to Kansas, where epic sites wait around every corner. From rugged limestone rock formations to many historical landmarks, Kansas is not just a drive through state. We encountered many surprises and found that overlanding through Kansas instead of just rushing through is a must do. Well, those were our shoes. Yeah. Welcome to our channel, where each new day is the day we make. So one of the reasons that we planned on coming through Kansas specifically is as we researched, there's a lot of history here. There's history of Portuguese explorers coming through the area. There's a lot of homestead history throughout this whole area. And there are a lot of overlanders that believe that there's nothing really to see here or to explore. And it's just a place where you're passing through to get to all of our other great overlanding destinations. And I can't argue that those destinations aren't great, but having said that, there's still a lot of things that are here to see, to experience, and to learn on your way out to those other destinations. So here we are at the castle. It's hard to believe that this is Kansas. I mean, everybody imagines Kansas and has heard about Kansas being flat and there's nothing to see. You just gotta drive through it and it's boring. But here we are at Coronado's Castle finally. We've been looking forward to getting here for a couple days now. And the view from up here is absolutely amazing. You can see, I can't even imagine how many miles you can see, but it's far. So let's go check it out. Our first stop along our journey is Coronado Heights Castle, a historic landmark nestled in the heart of Kansas. Built in the 1930s, this castle offers stunning panoramic views of the surrounding areas, making it a popular destination for locals and tourists alike. Sandstone was used to build the estate and picnic areas in 1936. Coronado Castle is rumored to be the spot where Spanish explorer Francisco Vasquez de Coronado gave up his search for the fabled Seven Cities of Gold. Coronado Heights is the southernmost bluff in a series of seven, known as the Smoky Hills. The hill is located northwest of Lindsborg. It's believed that Francisco Vasquez de Coronado and his men viewed the prairie from his lookout point 300 feet above the valley floor. The rolling hills and expansive plains of Kansas provide a stunning backdrop to the rivers, creating a harmonious blend of natural beauty.
escalated quickly. We just need to get right there. However, pretty stuck. As many of you know, we normally roll with two rigs when we travel. On this trip, however, we only took the Forerunner, so we didn't have the Jeep and its winch to get us out of this jam. In addition, there was nothing around for us to winch to with the Forerunner, and we somehow forgot to grab our GoTreads traction boards before we left Arkansas. Get yeah. We turn completely to our side. Not only had we hydroplaned a little, the vehicle also turned a little bit over 90 degrees to its side. We dug out as much as we could of the tires, but we also used rocks and grass in order to try to get unstuck. So we've stacked some rocks and roots, grass root bulbs underneath the tires. Trying to get a little traction here. Some rocks. Just need to get up over this one area and hoping that giant rock that we shoved in there will help with that. Let's see. And once we get forward here, we're gonna pull over here, toward where Joe is, and then we're gonna back, straight back that way, get back on the road. <laughs> Come on over here, buddy. We got this, Dad. It's it's toward me a little bit. Yep. There you go. Go for it. Go for it. Go, go, go. Yep. 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 Keep going. Uh, we go forward a little more. Toward me, you can, so you don't go back in that hole. All right, look out, Josh. Yeah, you should be all right. Come on. All right, stop. Go forward a little bit. Go forward a little bit. All right, now cut the back of the car toward me. Keep going. Yep. All right, now you can straighten out and go straight back. I hope. Look out, Josh. Look out, Josh. Woo! <laughs> Thank God. All right, buddy. We made it. We made it. We made it. Goodbye, stuck spot. Goodbye. Show him this. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Look, we buried that rock. <laughs> yeah, completely. Holy mackerel. That rock's never going to see the water. Huh. 
Got lots and lots and lots of mud to get rid of under here. So let's get going with it. So this is day four of our journey through Kansas and with all the gravel roads we went down and with getting stuck yesterday, we wanna make sure we get the undercarriage completely clean and free of debris so that we don't get a uh, fire under there at some point as everything dries out and heats up. And then we're gonna be on our way to... Scott Lake State Park. Scott Lake State Park. Yeah. Where we're gonna spend a couple days exploring that area there. There's gonna be some neat things to see. So can't wait to show you that. Underhair is nice and clean. <laughs> Time for the shoes. And this stuff is like concrete and mixed in with that grass. Yeah. It's, it's really what allowed us to get unstuck. But you could also build a house with it. Yeah, you could have built an adobe or something else. <laughs> I'm sure it was done. That's the reason why I always have a second pair of shoes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, let's see how this mud bog goes. Ooh, slippery. So slippery. Buffalo. Oh, look at that, Josh. Buffalo. Maddie, look, there's buffalo. Very cool. Look at these guys. like the mud bogs. Hello little buffalo. So cool. Hey guys. Look at you big guy. That's cool. All right. That's neat. So we're marking all the mud bogs we come in contact with here on our Gaia so that we know for next time not to necessarily go that way but we're trying to map out a route here and we need to know where these things are located so that we can avoid them in the future and other people can avoid them. We were able to find some solid ground and some solid uh, road and it's Pretty much like the interstate of dirt and gravel road at this point compared to what we've been going through but as you can see this is the reason why because it hasn't snowed here for weeks but we're still coming across snow patches so as long as it's been and as the weather that they've been having as far as temperature and it's still present um, they must have got a ton of snow I mean, this is absolutely amazing. I, I'm so glad that we made this journey and decided to come through Kansas and see this for ourselves. And the timing worked out perfect. Getting here near sunset, we gotta figure out what we're gonna do for camp still, but this is definitely worth having to find camp close to dark which if you know us we don't typically do that we usually camp find camp a little early but sometimes 
It doesn't work out like that. So just adjacent to the first section we were at, there's another section of Monument Rocks that we're making our way over to now. And as you can see, it's stunning and really stands out amongst the rest of the landscape. This is on private land, so there are some rules you have to follow, but it's great that they allow us access to see this. We just happened upon this sign for Punished Woman Fork Battle Site. So we're going to go check it out. So they have a registration book we're going to fill out for the day we make. It's pretty country out here so it should be a nice drive out to Battle Canyon. And this has been designated a National Historic Place so that's pretty cool. Just put the day we make. I didn't notice these two signs. We got rifle pits and Pack Horse Canyon. Very cool. What we're going to do is we're going to go check out the cave, right?
guys, tonight we're making street tacos. We're gonna cook them over an open fire in our Lodge cast iron skillet. So these ought to be really good. We try to keep our meals simple and easy at camp while balancing the individual taste of our family members, prep time, and water usage for dishes. What do you think? It's good. Yeah? What do you like about it? Um, I mean, the, the flavor and the meat, it is good. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. Want to have those again? Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Well, good morning guys, it's day five, coming through Kansas, and we're actually gonna push into Colorado today. But before we do that, I'm probably gonna get my expedies on because it's one of those mornings. It got pretty chilly last night. Another spot that has the pyramids, go by Twin Peaks, and we're gonna go by Mount Sunflower, which is the highest point in Kansas. So I'm curious to see what that is. Are you excited? I'm excited. Look at me. So excited. Yay. She's not excited about going outside. It was forecasted to get to 29, but I haven't actually checked to see what it got to yet. So. I'm going to get my expedies on and some layers and then make coffee, of course. Okay, guys. It's a chilly morning, but a beautiful morning as the sun hits the cliff faces over there. Kids are still snuggled up in the gazelle. Misty's still inside working up, working the energy up to come out here. Looks like the fire has quit. I got my ex petties on. My feet are nice and warm. I don't know if any of you use these, but I've used them for years now and they work great. They, but the scenery here, the contrast of colors of the sky, the cliff face, the weather as we've been coming west has just been getting better and better. We've gone through a couple, of, one of those fronts, and uh, Kansas has been a nice surprise. So I gotta say, this little multi-fuel cooktop that we got works pretty well. It brings things to boil, you know, relatively fast, so 
we're happy with it so far and we're really happy that it's boiled our water to where we can start making coffee. So how's the coffee this morning? Good, but it's cold. Yeah, it's kind of chilly. How do you like your new stove? I love it. It's amazing. Yeah? Mm -hmm. How about your kitchen? I love my kitchen. Yeah, you love the kitchen? You love, love it all? Love the bed platform, love the fridge, love the deep sleep <coughs> sleeping pads, love my new setup back here with my jerry can for fuel and water and propane. Love my boxes on my roof. Love it all. I gotta say, I don't know if the bam bed guy planned that or not, but that fridge fits perfectly under there. Work. I mean, it just fits perfect. So does my kitchen. And the kitchen. OVS. The I don't, OVS I don't know if they, they all collabed with bam beds, but everything just seemed to fall into place and can't thank Oki Overland enough for throwing this together for us over a long two days. Mm -hmm. It was definitely a project that kind of evolved as it went along and, you know, we started off adding a few pieces to it and then as we dug into it, we realized, you know, this would make it better and this would improve it and uh, this is what we need and they really worked with us on that and accommodated us and we're very appreciative of that because it's making this trip to Kansas amazing we love you kyle and tate thank you so much it's awesome excellent work you guys are the best well I guess I'm stuck here now. So as we're leaving Scott Lake State Park and taking the gravel roads, this terrain is reminiscent of a lot of what we went through while we were in Wyoming. And so it's just, uh, you know, interesting to see how this is so similar to other parts of the country that's uh, a much bigger destination. So here we are at the Little Pyramids, smaller than Monument Rocks, but it's still a pretty cool spot. It's on private land, but they do not allow you, unlike Monument Rocks, to go on to the private land part. So we'll have to explore from this vantage point and from the drone. So as we were walking, Josh pointed out the bird nest. What faces? That's pretty cool. So a lot of times too, as you go through a lot of states, a lot of times what they're doing is they're finding the cheapest, most efficient way to build this road and to get people to where they're going as fast as possible. So naturally what happens is the parts of the state that you happen to be going through are the flattest, most boring, places that you could possibly be in that state and as we're traveling across Kansas right now nothing 
can prove that point more than what we've been witnessing and seeing for ourselves. The terrain keeps varying and you know we've been up as high as what 1600 feet today uh -huh. um, maybe a thousand foot difference between the floor so just keep that in mind as you're hearing these things and going through these areas once you get back here off the main paths and the pavement and get to these more remoter areas the terrain gets a lot more interesting So we're on our last leg in Kansas before we get to Mount Sunflower, the highest point in Kansas. And we're out there on these rolling hills. Some gulches out here. So we did it. We went completely through Kansas. We are at the highest point officially in the state of Kansas, which is 4,039 feet at Mount Sunflower. And during that time, we traveled how many miles? From where we entered in from Oklahoma, we traveled 300, a little over 300 miles of gravel roads. So 300 yeah. miles of gravel roads, that's not including all the other roads. We'll try to tally all that up in the very end and put that in the video but we cover a lot of ground mm -hmm. and I'm sure there's still more that we didn't cover. And I'm sure some of you will come behind us and discover even more. And we're looking forward to hearing about that and seeing that. And so we're just gonna enjoy the view from here for now. And having said that all, what is your most surprising thing or the thing that you most enjoyed most about Kansas? I think the most surprising thing was the amount of um, gulches and the difference in elevation. I really did think that Kansas was 99% flat. Like, I did not expect there to be such a change in elevation on different parts of it. Yeah, it'd have to be the same for me, too. I knew there was history. I am a little surprised at the varied history mm -hmm. that there is. Um, I wasn't expecting that. But most of all, I think the most surprising thing for me as well is the variety of terrain and topography that yeah. is here compared to what you've heard or seen. So i um, so glad that we made this journey. It's been a lot of fun, and I hope you guys come through and experience it and enjoy it too. Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Thank you for watching.